بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ آر مین پروجیکٹ اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ایکچولی امپورٹ دی یو ایف ای یونیورسل فائٹنگ انجن آئی ہیو کریٹیڈ اے نیو پروجیکٹ ود اے نیم آف فائٹ گیئر اینڈ اٹ از ٹوٹلی بلینک پروجیکٹ ود آؤٹ اینی ایسڈ اینڈ دی فرسٹ تھنگ از دیٹ وی ول امپورٹ دی یو ایف ای یونیورسل فائٹنگ انجن ایسڈ So here you can see that we have these uh, features and prices. We have a light version of UFE, we have a basic version, standard version, pro version, source version and Patreon version. So I'm going to use the source version because it has a lot of uh, options. So here we will just drag drop our package of the source asset to our project. We can drag drop it inside our project and then you will just see a message of import and then we will import the package you can see we can import the package and then we will click on install and upgrade okay so because this uh, package is the uh, not the latest one uh, there is a package of 2.5.1 as well but uh, uh, it is a Uh, you can consider it is uh, it a recent version of UFE. So also for this project we need some other assets like uh, female fighter magnum animation pack I will use, heavy fighter magnum animation pack, male fighter animation pack and PBR fighter pack. These uh, assets we will use in this uh, particular project because uh, we want to create a interesting project uh, in you uh, in unity uh, by using ufe so definitely we need these assets although you can <coughs> without these assets you can even create some powerful game but uh, with these assets we will uh, hopefully we will uh, get a interesting game so here you can see that at this stage you can actually link your unity project and it is also important and we can import the assets as well so here i will just click on import and i will also link the project as well okay so let's import everything in the project and uh, in the meanwhile we will just uh, link our project if you don't have any uh, experience with the project ids you can actually uh, go to your dashboard of unity and uh, there you can create some projects okay so here we will we can go to the dashboard as well or we can create a project right away here okay so it will be created into our dashboard automatically if you are logged in in unity hub okay so let's wait for some seconds and after import we will create we will link our unity project with the project id okay so now at this stage we can just go to project settings and you can see that we have a connection problem no problem now it is connected you can select the organization i already have created some organizations inside my dashboard of unity you can select uh, your desired organization i will just select the class 007 and here you can see that uh, if you want to use an existing unity project id you can click here and uh, you can uh, definitely create uh, this id into your dashboard of unity as well or you can click here create project id but uh, one important thing is that uh, uh, yeah now okay this is the simplest way let's click on create project id so it will take some time uh, in some seconds and then our project will be set up and you can see that our project is set up project was linked successfully okay and unable to link project to unity services uh, this uh, message you can see no problem just refresh the access and everything will be nice okay so here you can see fight gear 2 is selected because uh, recently i have created a five gear one uh, project and now this uh, unity project is linked with fight gear 2 and uh, here will this app be primarily targeted to children age uh, 13 
so no definitely not and then we can just click on save so now our project is linked and everything looks nice okay so now we can just close this window and hopefully everything is set up you can see that we don't have any red error and after importing everything we can just click on play and now hopefully we will not have any uh, error so beautiful we have uh, beautiful e implemented the imported the ufe and you can see the ufe over here you have the installation instructions we have the demos we have the engine and a lot of other stuff which we will explore in upcoming videos but before that i will also import these assets uh, as well so uh, what we can do is that uh, in the main project we will create a folder here okay and i will just uh, name this folder sported assets so that we are things will be organized in a proper manner okay so when i will import the assets i will uh, drag off these assets into this folder so definitely whenever you will import any new asset at any place it will be imported to the main assets section okay so let's uh, drag up this file fight fi female fighter mechanism pack import it and uh, hopefully it uh, don't have any c sharp secrets if uh, for example if uh, we if, uh, while importing the assets we have uh, imported some secrets which will conflict with our main project then definitely we don't need the scripts from the, these assets you can directly delete that irrelevant scripts okay so in this way you can import all the assets so i will just import all the assets pbr fighter male fighter and heavy fighter female fighter and then after that yeah male fighter as well i think the asset is going inside the where it is uh, male fighter pack activation animation pack then yeah I think uh, yeah some assets are already imported and because we have imported the other packages from the same uh, same publisher so the package has some already imported assets okay so now you can see that here in the package uh, female, uh, this uh, fighter pack bundle we have male fighter we have heavy fighter and female fighter that's great and then finally we will just import the pbr fighter pack as well beautiful so now we are ready to develop our game uh, in a proper way so from the next video we will just uh, develop the game with our own style.